And now a moment with Dr. Stephen M. Stahl. Violence and mental health, what's the connection? There's been a lot of recent press about several very disturbing incidents in the United States where violence has occurred, shootings have occurred, uh, deaths have occurred. And what's come up in this context is the role of mental illness. The first thing we have to put on the table is that most people with mental illnesses are not violent, and most of the mental illness that occurs is not in people um, with violence. And finally, most of the violence that occurs is not in people with mental illnesses. However, some spectacular cases do occur, and they tend to lump together the three types of violence. There is psychotic violence, impulsive violence, and predatory violence. The lay press and too many people that are in politics tend to put all these people together. A predator is a Hannibal Lecter, Silence of the Lambs, someone psychopathic. He's not, quote, in mentally ill in that sense. He has probably what we would call antisocial personality disorder with psychopathy. That's very different than someone who's mentally ill and psychotic. If you are shooting someone because you think they really are going to harm you or you don't even know that they're people, that you may think that they're aliens, then that is psychotic. The third one is impulsive. And what this is, it can very well be in patients with an underlying mental disorder, possibly bipolar disorder, schizophrenia, or a serious mental disorder like that, but whose psychosis is relatively controlled, usually on medications, but they still have poor impulse control. So that when provoked, instead of biting their tongue and walking away, or even saying something nasty, they may slap you or, or worse. So psychopath is cold-blooded, no fear, no conscience. Uh, they know right from wrong, but they don't care. They want to do something to actually gratify themselves. That's very different and shouldn't be lumped together with someone with an underlying serious mental illness that's out of control and is either psychotic or impulsive. By the way, how do you treat someone with psychotic violence? You give them an antipsychotic. How do you treat someone with predatory violence? Predators can't be fixed with psychotherapy or drugs. They just need to be segregated away from other people because it's a lifelong condition. Impulsive uh, violence, if it occurs in the presence of psychotic illness, sometimes requires very aggressive treatment with uh, antipsychotics, sometimes in higher doses or in combinations, and also with various types of uh, psychotherapies, particularly called dialectical behavioral therapy and so forth. So we do have different approaches, but if you lump them all together, you misdiagnose them and you don't handle them right. So it's up to us to actually get the word out about the differences among these different types of violence and to make sure that they're triaged to the appropriate treatment.